Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's e-commerce minute episode 309. In today's episode, the last blockbuster is making its own beer. As we reported this July, episode 270, for those following along, there's only one Blockbuster video store left in the U.S., and that's located in Bend, Oregon. In honor of this last Blockbuster, Ten Barrel Brewing Company is creating a beer fittingly called The Last Blockbuster. The Blockbuster beer is described as a black ale with nuances of red licorice. It has a light body and smooth finish and pairs perfectly with a buttery theater popcorn and your favorite movie-sized chocolate. It also has a 5.7 ABV. Per an Instagram post from the brewery, We promise each sip will deliver you back to the time when cracking open that blue and white VHS case was the sound of an epic Saturday evening. The last Blockbuster will debut on September 21st at a block party in Bend. As stated on their Facebook page, it says, Join 10 Barrel and Blockbuster on Friday, September 21st to celebrate the last still-standing Blockbuster store in America where an exclusive limited-time only beer, the last Blockbuster, will be officially released. Come to the block party to taste the new beer, grab a bite to eat, and watch some hits on the big screen with beer in hand, of course. The last Blockbuster will be served for a limited time in all six 10 Barrel pub locations, three in Oregon and one in San Diego, Denver, and Boise, Idaho. But sadly, the beer will not be available online as of now. The beer may not last long, but hopefully the last Blockbuster will. Pour one out for Blockbuster. Yeah. Is it going to smell or taste like the, the videotape? I, I hope it, <laughs> I just hope it doesn't smell like buttered popcorn because that would be pretty gross. Uh, or taste like a VHS. <laughs> <laughs> I like the smell of VHS in the morning. Mm, well, you used to love the smell uh, of VHS in the morning. I used to. Well, that's why I picked this story because I, for, for folks following along, I used to work for the rival chain West Coast Video. Had many good times there. And remember, folks, please be kind. Rewind. So this is, you know, this is neat because I I don't know what the licensing is anymore, and I probably I think Dish still owns the blockbuster name, they probably don't care. So they're not going to come after them for any copyright thing. And since it's a limited time thing and it's, I guess they can, it falls under the, the category of parody. So uh, nice marketing move by the brewery. I'm sure it'll, it's going to be one of those things you, you collect them, you get a couple bottles and then that's it. They'll never, they'll never put this out again. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a collector's item basically. But it's a nice yeah. salute, nice salute to uh, uh, something that just is, it doesn't really exist anymore. Uh, renting movies from an actual store. Um, you know, there's pros and cons about that, uh, you know, obviously. I mean, there was something about the experience of going to a video store and taking your time and picking out the selection and uh, you picked one, but they don't have it. And it's, it was a whole thing. You know, you'd spend a Friday night because when I worked in the store, the line was out the door because that's just what you did on the weekend. You rented videos, you had your friends over, you had girlfriend over, you did that kind of thing. Yeah, it just seems so, so, so long ago. Like I can barely even remember. I think it was everything was black and white back then. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> black and white. Everything was black and white. So on demand okay. streaming came along and uh, um, kind of eliminated that. And uh, as we said, Blockbuster, all their stores have closed except for this one in Bend, Oregon. Um, I think there's. I think there's one in Europe or something. Somebody has a European license for that, but that's it. Uh, you know, pour one out for Blockbuster and uh, go grab yourself a Blockbuster beer if you're in Bend, Oregon. Got anything else, Bart? No, that's it, sir. All right. Uh, oh, you know, you would think with nostalgia, they instead of doing beer, why didn't they do Zima? Uh, Zima's back, though. Oh, Zima's back. Oh, so they probably couldn't do it. All right. Anyway, <laughs> full show notes are at ecommerceminute.co. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. 
that's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.